Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be doing some fireworks. Um, just some hand-painted designs. I thought it might be fun, kind of fun. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with um, a tip. I just kind of scuffed it up a little bit. I don't have primer or anything like that on it. It's not going on anybody. Um, we're gonna be using, and I always butcher this, but it's it Rajam, Rajam, uh, dark black. I love how it goes on. And sometimes you can get away with one coat. So we're gonna see if we can do that today. So I'm just gonna put a thin layer on. If you go too thick, um, sometimes it can wrinkle on you. And then if it does that, that usually means that it is not cured underneath. And that's where you will end up with um, it peeling and then you've got wet gel because it's not cured. Okay. And then I always cure these for 60 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna do a second coat on it. Then I'm gonna put this in the lamp for 60 seconds. All right, so there we have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with white for the fireworks. So when I put the colors on top, it'll help them to pop a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add, and that's not white, uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. All right, there we go. So we're going to use Rajam again, pure white. Don't need a lot. And then I'm just gonna use one of my little detail brushes. I don't wanna make the lines too awful thick. Cause what I'm gonna do as well is add some rhinestones just to zhuzh it up a little bit. So we'll do a couple of them.
right, so I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so I just used some rubbing alcohol to clean off my brush. So I'm going to add um, a little bit of pink. This is a reflective glitter um, polish. This is by Beetles, and the number is B352. This is so bright, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to do a dab. These aren't real big. And then I've got a silver. Um, this is a nail liner by McCart. And oh my, it's silver, but it's got like other little flakes of glitter. And I don't know if this is picking it up or not, but oh, mm, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I thought this one might be a little fun to do as well. And if I remember right, I think it too is a reflective glitter polish. And I'm making a mess. Um, yeah, okay. I'm thinking I should have added a, a little guy up here. Maybe we'll do that. So I'm going to pick up the silver liner. And then I'm just going to go over and around the white. Oh, I love this. This color is so, so pretty. All right, so I'm just kind of doing these one at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the lamp for 60 seconds. It's pretty thick and it's not real runny, but I am just paranoid about it spreading out. So <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the lamp and I'll be right back. All righty, so now we're gonna do the pink one. And I cleaned off the liner brush again with rubbing alcohol. All right, so again, this is gonna go in the lamp for 60 seconds, and I'll be right back. All right, I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do um, another little one up here. I'm gonna use um, all three colors, though.
Just going to try something different. So we're going to add them as we go. So I'm going to put this in the lamp. All right, now I'm going to add the silver. And again, we're going to put that one in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, and then now we're going to add the pink. after we add some more to the palette. So I tried to make it, um, as far as the distance, try to make it a little bit more up close. I got a new phone and I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in the lamp, 60 seconds, and then we're going to add rhinestones to it when it comes out. All right, so these two are my favorites. This one I'm not too sure about. So what I'm going to do, um, I said I was going to do rhinestones, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to do it on these two. Um, anyways, I'm going to be using this um, rhinestone glue. It's by Betsy. It came in their Valentine um, box and it is just amazing. I don't know if I'm too far. Like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, this is what I use and it is amazing and it stays put. Um, they stay and then they come off fairly easy when you go to remove them, but they don't just come off on their own. I used the first time I used it was on a client who is a, um, she's a hairdresser and she, well, you know, they, they're busy and their hands are in everything. All right. So I'm going to just put a couple little dabs and it's a gel. So you've got to cure it.
we're just going to use tiny little itty bitty rhinestones. almost thinking of putting a bigger one right in the center. Not huge though, just bigger. Okay, I'm going to put that in the lamp for 60 seconds. so far and I'm up too close again. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so anyways, here's that tip. And then I'm gonna top coat it with E. Neal Couture's shiny top coat. This is a no white top coat and I love this stuff. I do not go over the rhinestones because I have found that um, most of the time it takes the shine away. So you just kind of have to go around them. And then I'm gonna, I always do 60. I think that it, it's only supposed to be 30, but I always do 60. So I'm gonna pop that in the lamp. Whoop. And then be right back. All right, so I took it down a notch. Um, this is the finished tip. Let's see if I can turn the torch on. Let's see if that brings up the Well, kind of. Okay, anyways. This is just an easy firework nail design that you can do with the fourth coming up and everything. So, anyways, I hope you have a safe fourth and a great week, and I'll see you again soon. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and um, I'll be back again soon. Cheers.